what's up YouTube welcome to the Bible wisdom YouTube channel you know I wanted to talk about how we have to keep pushing in our race you know um, I like to give these encouragement videos every now and again for anyone who likes to uh, listen to these videos um, I think it's so important for us to not get tripped up on our race by um, just different things that want to come in and separate us from you know following Jesus and also just um, you know uh, having the peace and joy and fruit of the Spirit and um, you know I think that Jesus said that the cares of this life the deceitfulness of riches and the desire for other things can come in and choke the word and it makes it unfruitful I think there are relationship issues that um, tug at our heart that make it hard to focus on the Bible. I think that, you know, we have school, you know, we have, um, you know, different obligations. Maybe your kids are, you know, uh, you know, somewhat of an obligation for you. And so um, I think that, you know, there's a number of things that um, can really draw our attention away from you know running our race and actually trying to uh, do it with you know uh, that hope of Christ I think um, you know irregardless of what is going on in our life I think we have to remember what our focus is you know um, we're doing our best to walk free from sin you know, uh, we're confessing our sins when we have done wrong. Um, and, you know, we're holding on to that faith of believing in Jesus Christ as the sacrifice and payment for our sins. You know, um, we are giving our cares and our worries over to the Lord. You know, um, I think there's a lot of things in this world that are bigger than us you know there are situations that are bigger than what we can understand or you know maybe our we try to think our way out of certain situations and we're like oh you know i'll just say this i'll just you know uh say this or i'll do this and you know i'll figure out this problem but the reality is there the problem is more complex you know and you know we also have to guard against demons you know that are uh, working against us you know the Bible doesn't really go into great detail about that but I believe the Bible does give us you know some answers about putting on the whole armor of God you know we have to have that belt of truth we have to have the readiness of the gospel of peace you know we have to uh, you know uh, have the breastplate of righteousness and uh, the sword of the spirit which is the word of God and so we have these different weapons of warfare and I think that you know we have to as we are walking towards our journey you know remembering that our what our goals are but also remembering that you know sometimes you know a bad situation a bad time you know some sort of suffering is a part of you know the Christian life that every day is not going to go according to plan all the time and so um, I think that we have to really rely on Jesus to solve the problems that are bigger than us you know we have to rely on the Word of God I think we also have to exercise that faith you know saying like you know it's gonna work out and you know I will overcome this and you know having those uh, beliefs also in our heart it's not just with our words but it's also with our heart we're actually believing that God can act on our behalf and then I also am a big believer of you know keeping the commandments not that we always get every commandment right all the time but you know um we're doing our best to know what the commandments of god are and we're keeping those commandments which i believe helps us and fuels us for our journey to head you know because as we learn the commandments of god 
you know, we have that, you know, insight to know, okay, I may not have gotten it right yesterday, but I can get it right, you know, uh, in the future. And we may not always make the right choice, but we have that mindset of, you know, I'm not necessarily trying to do something wrong. I'm just going to push on to the goal ahead. And so what are some of our goals? Our goals are, you know, heaven itself. Some of our short term goals might be, you know, success as far as um, maybe marriage or family or, um, you know, uh, success in your career. You know, those could be some short term goals that you have. Um, even on your personal li life, um, you could have shorter term goals of or long term goals of, you know, I'm going to try to lose 10 pounds or, you know, I'm going to try to overcome this addiction or I'm going to try to overcome something. And you have these, you know, shorter term goals that you can be walking towards on your journey. But we also have that long term goal of heaven and we also have that long term goal of you know the new Jerusalem and the new earth and we have these hopes that you know death isn't the end you know even though we sometimes can picture death as you know the end of the line it is not you know and so um, all this comes from God and we can wake up and you know praise God for you know the good things that he has revealed in the word of God about our future. And so I think, you know, these are some things that we can do to kind of help us on our journey. I think that, you know, um, when we um, are walking on our journey, we're going to encounter problems. I think we're going to encounter good days and bad days. I think we're going to encounter heartache and, you know, some suffering. Um, but at the same time, you know, I believe there there are so many blessings to be had, you know. Um, and I think that, you know, there's things that we can be grateful for as well, you know, and really uh, cultivating, you know, that mindset of gratefulness and then also that mindset of, you know, uh, getting wisdom as well you know trying your best to uh just do you know what god has said in his word and when you know we have that you know mess up in our life or we have different mistakes in our life you know and the accuser is wanting to say you know hey you know this person did this or that you know, at least we can say that, you know, you're on that journey of doing your best for the Lord, you know, and I think there's a different mindset where you don't necessarily care how you're acting. You don't care what you say to people. You know, you just kind of have this careless mentality where, you know, um, you you know what sin is, but you do it anyway. And that's not the type of mindset I want to have because, you know, we know that God rewards righteousness and punishes wickedness. And so um, because we know the terror of the Lord, you know, we do our best to stay away from sin. And um, we know the consequences that God has for uh, certain sins that, you know, uh, the Bible clearly talks about. And so um, I think that, you know, there are so many people, you know, there's different people that want to get you off track. Um, there are, you know, different thoughts that you may have that try to get you off the path of headed to heaven. Um, I think that the spiritual world is another realm that, you know, can possibly try to get you off track. And I guess I say possibly, but, you know, just saying they will, you know, uh, try to get you off track. And then we just have our own desires and lust that, um, you know, are within us that can get us off track. 
And so, you know, I love the Pilgrim's Progress movie. In that movie, he's on this journey to heaven, and he makes it to heaven. But, you know, along the before he makes it to heaven, he encounters all these different obstacles to try, you know, to get him off the path and get him from stop being a Christian, you know, these these different obstacles that may come up and say, oh, you should just say that to them because that will really get them mad and angry or you should just go and sin and, you know, and do this because you know that's what you really want and you know you have these different things that are pulling you in certain directions and God really addresses this in the word he says that don't let anything pull you to the right hand or the left from God's word and so you know I think one perspective is that we can kind of feel bad for ourselves and say oh man you know I'm alive in this world and I have all these problems to deal with and we kind of have this sad mentality and kind of this you know woe is me type of mentality where we're just like I got all these problems and you know where are the solutions but you know when we look at when we join with Jesus Christ you know the solution starts you know the we we are given the holy spirit who just gives us that supernatural power to deal with the the problems ahead um we're given the word of god that gives us comfort for you know the times that we live in and i think in these last days you know it's so easy for our love to grow cold our our you know choices to be you know poor and there's different things that may pull us in different directions and we have that anchor of jesus christ to stick with and so um you know thanks so much for checking out this video um hopefully this was helpful to someone hopefully you got something from it and i will talk to you on the next one see ya